Hello students, in this video we will discuss example 23 of trigonometry chapter that is sin 2x minus sin 4x plus sin 6x is equals to 0. This equation I can split using sin x minus sin y formula or sin x plus sin y formula. But in order to avoid the negative sign here, I'll choose the two positive terms and I'll split this terms using this formula that is sin x plus sin y is equals to 2 sin x plus y by 2 and cos x minus y by 2. When you split this sin 6x plus sin 2x with that formula, what you get is 2 sin 6x plus 2x by 2 cos 6x minus 2x by 2 and minus sin 4x is equals to 0. Next, when I add, what I get is 2 sin 8x by 2 cos 4x by 2 minus sin 4x is equals to 0. And after I divide this 2 by 8 and 2 by 4, what I get is 2 sin 4x and cos 2x minus sin 4x is equals to 0. So you can see here now sin 4x is common in both the term. This whole is one term and this is another term. So here also and here also sin 4x is common. So we take sin 4x is common and what remains inside the bracket is 2. Sin 4x we have already taken common. 2x minus the sign we have already taken common so what remains is 1 that is equals to 0. So now I can equate sin 4x is equals to 0 and 2 cos 2x minus 1 is equals to 0 as such. And now we need to find the general solution of both this term separately. So sin 4x is equals to 0 is already in the standard form that is sin theta is equals to 0 and for sin theta is equals to 0 we have theta is equals to n phi relation. That is sin 4x is equals to 0, theta is equals to n pi, where theta is 4x that is equals to n pi. And that will be x is equals to n pi by 4. This is the general solution of sin 4x is equals to 0. Now we need to find the general solution of 2 cos x minus 1 is equals to 0. But here we need to make some arrangement to get it in the standard form. 2 cos 2x minus 1 can also be written as 2 cos 2x is equals to 1. When I shift this one on the other side of the equation, it becomes the positive one. That will be cos 2x is equals to 1 by 2. Now cos 2x is equals to 1 by 2 is nothing but cos pi by 3, isn't it? Now this is in the standard form. Now this is in the form of cos theta is equals to cos y. And for cos theta is equals to cos y, we have a theta relation is equals to 2 n pi plus or minus y that is where theta will be 2 x and y will be pi by 3 so theta will be 2 x that is equals to 2 n pi plus or minus value of y is pi by 3 next when you take this 2 on the other side of the equation what happens is the 2 and 2 gets cancelled and the 2 and 3 gets multiplied here so what you get is x is equals to n pi plus or minus pi by 6 where n belongs to integers that's all students. Very simple. If you have any questions, please let me know in comments. Thank you.